Hello, day two of TechCrunch Disrupt to Startup Alley, and here we are in Startup Alley. Let's go and talk to some companies. Now, they're starting early this year. Tell me about you. What's your, what's your startup called? My startup call is called Orga Baby, which is an online tool for parents to keep track of the development of their children. Yeah, and, and who's this? And this is Ariella. She's a baby to the parents who are starting up this company. Uh, tell me what Ooga Baby does. Ooga Baby is basically an online tool which, is a, um, which allows parents to keep track of the development of their children, physical and milestone development. Um, it runs off Facebook and it has basically, it has lots of different features, but it's an environment for parents to be able to communicate with each other in a safe network of parents, upload pictures, share information. Is there data here as well as content? Yeah, there is. There's data as well as content. Excellent. Ugababy.com, I guess. Ugababy.com, exactly. Fantastic. Check it out. See you later. Thank you very much. What a gorgeous little girl. Okay, we're going over here now to Opix. Right, tell me about this, sir. Oh, because it's a, it's a community based on polls. Uh, um, people all around the world can, can ask everything they want to, to her friends and understand what, what they, they, they think about something and not only what, what they think, also what kind of people think. It's, it's, it's a male, it's a, it's, a, it's a man, it's a woman, or, or what the range of age. So we can, we can help uh, companies understand better their, their, their audience. I see, brilliant. So where are you guys based? Sorry? Where are you guys based? Where are you based? Where are you going? <laughs> Sorry. Let's move on. Thank you very much. Okay, Pagoda Box. Right, Pagoda Box. Well, tell me about this. So Pagoda Box is a uh, platform as a service. Platform as a service, what does it do? Basically, it automates your hosted infrastructure. So you, as a developer, only have to worry about uh, building your app. You don't have to worry about all of the hosting complexities. Exactly. Marvelous. And uh, who's using it right now? Um, let's see. We've got... We've got uh, Zoomies, they're the largest action retailer right now uh, online. We've got Canon, um, HTC, DirecTV, Nitro Circus. So we've got a couple of big guys that have moved on to our service because of, of, you know, it's about the experience and about what we provide for them and what they need. Fantastic, got some real companies on that. Thank you very much, Pagoda Box. Right, let's hear from Parwin. Tell me about Parwin. Parwinner, sorry. Par what is it? Parwinner makes games out of your YouTube videos. Games out of my YouTube videos, goodness yes. me. Tell me more. In November, you will come to our website and you will upload your video to YouTube and you will make a game. And you will say publish and it will go on your wall and it will be tweeted to your Twitter. So you Ex exactly what is the business model of this? <laughs> you as a private user, it's free. We want to be viral. As a business, from your promotional videos, you pay. Right, I see. Promotional videos. Thank you very much. Cheers. Okay, password box. Oh, God, I need this. I need this. I lo I've lost my password so many times, I couldn't tell you. What is password box? It's like a Dropbox for passwords. So you put your passwords in the box, and once they're in the box, they sync across all your device, and you don't need to remember them, and you don't need to log into any site again. So you skip the login screen, and you can even share your password with your coworkers. And if something happens to you, Let's say you're hit by a bus. I don't wish you that, but let's say you're hit by a bus. You can choose a trusted person that will receive your password. And how are you, how are you guys going to make money? So we're doing a rev share right now with Google on search. And we're also going to charge a freemium at some point. Very interesting. I like rem rememberable name, Mark Password Box. Thank you very much. Let's see. Oh, oh so, sorry. Apologies. Uh, let's go over here. Past book. Tell me Hi. about past book. Yeah, Passbook is the book of your social memories. We collect uh, all the memories that you share online and we provide you a unique experience uh, on uh, online, on the iPad and also in a printed version. Oh, uh, this is very nice actually. You've got a nice book here going through. Oh, pass oh lovely, lovely. I like it actually. I can, get can you do one of these for me, please? Sorry? Sorry? Can you do one of these for me, please? Sure, sure, sure. Thank you very much. Past book. Marvellous. Okay. Now, got time to squeeze, squeeze a couple more in today. So, oh, excuse me, darling. Uh, over here, Paymesh. Tell me what Paymesh is. So, Paymesh is a new payment network. Uh, we're trying to solve the problem of the $7 billion a year just in the U.S. alone. Uh, credit card fraud and identity theft. That is a lot of fraud. It is. What do you do? So, it's a new payment network we're launching today. And, and the way that it works is that we have these things called cash tokens which is a, an anonymous form of basically digital cash. So it's an instantaneously uh, generated cash token, so I can transfer money to you or a vendor or whoever I need to pay. 
they immediately get the money into their PayMesh account and they don't have to know anything about me. Anymore. Nothing to do with pay, PayPal or anything? It's kind of similar to PayPal, but even with PayPal you have to share your email address, your name, some other details. And that's what identity thieves use to uh, steal your identity. What's the top problem you're solving here? Um, it's the identity theft and credit card fraud issue. Fantastic. PayMesh, thank you very much. And over here, what have we got over here? Portals. Let's get a little demo. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm just going to break in here. Who's going to demo Portals to me? Oh, thank you. Tell me all about it. Portals is a platform that allows users to build their own HTML5 app. It's really easy, easy to use. Um, pretty much they, it's a content-based app that they plug in their own con um, content yeah. into templates. It's for people that just want to get their content on the web super fast. Although it looks like a traditional website on desktop, it acts and feels like a native app on tablets and phones. So um, there's a lot of mobile converters out there. We're not a mobile converter. Like you define your design once, and it spreads on every single device. So it's are you guys launching today? Sorry, what was that? Are you guys launching at the moment here at Disrupt. We're in our beta right now. We're launching later on this month. Portals and what's the URL? It's uh, portalsapp.com. And how are you guys going to make money? Our uh, revenue is pretty much it's based on a. A premium subscription plan. So our, our users uh, start off with a basic free um, plan, and they um, it's limited in model in a and you upgrades marvelous portals app. Thank you very much. See you later. Right, power funder. Oh, product C. Oh, I I'd like to. Can we excuse me? Excuse me. Okay, right. Let's have a little bit of the go of this. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, tell me, product C. Come on. <laughs> what's what's going on? Product C. Tell me all about it. Um, we design um, products for companies and entrepreneurs. So if you've got a great idea, you want someone to help design and develop it, come see us. We're expats, very friendly, Santa Monica, Silicon Beach, hence the balls. Hello. And we'll take equity or kind of partner with you to realize it in Very useful. Days. Thank you very much, Productsy. Right, on the head, on the head, son. Okay, right. Uh, next up is Quickio. Right, tell me about this. Hey, so Quickio is a super fast way to let you enjoy your digital content, whether it's video, audio, or photos. Give me a demo, quick demo. So, you know, for instance, if I have a video clip that's on my iPad here, I can instantly play it, and then I can also instantly share it with my wife or with my friend. Yeah. And uh, why, why would I use this over Facebook or Twitter or whatever? Well, because video content is very difficult to move to your iPad. You know, and in, in uh, solutions like Dropbox, you can only hold a few minutes worth of high definition video. With uh, Quickio, you can share any amount of uh, digital content, terabytes that you may have on your home PC or on your Mac. Very useful, and I, we're all getting a lot of that right now, aren't we? I mean, all our cameras are filling up with content. Right, I think we've got time for one more, so let's go over here. Recipe lover, tell me all about this. Oh, good day, good day. Hey, from Australia. How are you doing? G'day, how are you going, mate? Good, mate. Uh, tell me all about it. Well, Recipe Lover is a website and a mobile app where you can obviously go to the website, enter your own recipes, but you can also use the app to take a photo of a recipe in the book. We digitize it using OCR technology, and then take a photo of your food, upload it to your recipe page. Fantastic. And, and uh, uh, are you launching here at Disrupt? Actually launching here today. So we thought it would be a good time to come over from Sydney to San Francisco and launch at Disrupt. We love it. Sydney to San Francisco. How are you guys going to make money? Uh, well, we, there's obviously advertising, but also sponsored recipes will, will be a main source of, uh, of revenue for us. Fantastic. Have you got Jamie Oliver on there yet? Uh, I love Jamie, and I've met him a couple of times, but he's not on there just yet. Marvellous. Well, it sounds fantastic to me, sitting by Bondi Beach and having Recipe Lover at your fingertips. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Startup Alley Day 2. We'll be back later.